was in a um, in the ex fiance relationship that became a little stalkerish. And then, you know, I was I was living with my parents and they're in the midst of selling their house and you know, I didn't want to bring that my mom is disabled, so I didn't want that drama coming to her house with the person stalking me. Um, I participate in the yoga, um, the computer class, uh, book club. Um, the staff used to do like a chat and chew. I was in, in today. Um, just about anything that they have to offer, I try to, you know, participate in whatever I can or, you know, try to have my daughter participate. I feel like if you participate in the things that are offered, it's less stress, you know, for you. you after a while, you can become a little bottled up, but. That's why I try to participate in everything. It's, it's fun, you know. I like to have fun. And I try to show my daughter that just because we're in a shelter, you can still have fun. It was hard for her at first, um, but she maintained because she, she didn't let, my main concern was her schooling. And she didn't let it, she didn't let it affect her schooling. Like she remained on a roll. So as long as I do my part as mom, and still stay active with her school and, and make sure she's on the right track, She'll, she should be all right. I think me being here has worked on me a lot as in myself because I know before coming in here, you know, I used to have a temper and any little thing just would, you know, piss me off. So I learned how to deal with that and not just react. So it, it helped me work on myself. Well, I would love to go back to school. That's one of my main goals. And just, you know, get stable housing for me and my daughter. And then, you know, get a full-time job and just go on from there.